impressions of Derek Pippen so far? Really good. Really impressed. Um, he, uh, he comes across as a real savvy uh, veteran, uh, a real pro. Um, I'd heard a lot of good things uh, about him before he got here, but uh, he's, he's certainly impressed these first couple of days. Um, he's got a great feel for, for the game, and I think he's going to fit very well into our offense. And what we do. Master motto, improve and right. What's this year? <laughs> get better. Just take it one day at a time. Um, I think we're all excited to get back to work. I'm excited to see what uh, you know how the how the free agent acquisitions will fit in, and um, and then also, also the rookies. How does Cook change things a little bit for the offense? Maybe how, how is he different than maybe what you've had the last couple of years? Um, well, you know we're only three days into it, right? Um, but I think he's he's certainly a guy who can run. Um, he's got great length, so he's a he's got a big catch radius. Um, you know so. You feel you feel confident with those 50-50 balls, you know. Um, you feel like there's a lot of places where you can throw it where he can get it, and the other guy can't. Um, so anytime you have a target like that, you feel like that's a good matchup. Um, you know, obviously a lot of attention goes to Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara, and so I think having a weapon like that, in addition to the other pieces that we have as well, I think that just they complement each other really, really well. Drew, along the lines of what's the message when? Two seasons in a row in the way they did, but especially last season. Do you, do you concentrate more on embracing it and channeling it in a certain way, or trying to? That was last year. We're not even going to talk about. It. Well, you, you always try to take uh, your experiences from from the year before and and turn it into something positive, right? Um, you know, use it as you know momentum. Um, use it as motivation. Chip on your shoulder. Unfinished business. You know. Whatever you want to term it, uh, according to what happened the year before, and that's, you know, there's always something to prove, right? And bottom line is, we, every team, in, you know, there's only one team that's walking away happy, right? And everybody else feels like they fell off the mountain and they're sitting down at the bottom. And now, here, here goes the climb, right? One step at a time. And so, I'm not thinking about February of 2020 right now. That's a long way away, right? And that's an overwhelming feeling if you if you decide to look to there. So. We're just focused on the here and now, staying in the moment, enjoying getting a chance to be out here and, and work with a lot of these young guys, work with a lot of these new guys like Jared Cook and others, and just watching it all come together again. How long, do you think it'll take, how long do you think it will take to adjust not having Max? Um, you know, obviously Max, <laughs> Max was a, a tremendous leader and a guy that you don't just snap your fingers and replace, you know. Um, I, I feel like we've got you know three guys that certainly have the opportunity to, to be at that position, and that's what OTAs and mini camp and training camp is, is for, right? Is to develop those guys and see how that's going to work. Um, but I like obviously I love our, our our O line as a unit, and I think you've seen over the last two years just how they work together and how at times that mixes and matches, right? Um, with guys playing different positions and um, sometimes for a short period of time, sometimes for a longer period of time, but um, they're well coached. Obviously, I mean, we all we all love our scheme and we feel like um, that allows us to do certain things and be very flexible um, that, that, you know, puts those guys in positions to succeed, but also, you know, re requires them to really, you know, be able to work together. When you have three guys, like you say, yep. are capable star, how can you mesh? And like, is it you gotta like divide your time, like well, you know, you know, figure it out. For well, you. like here's the thing. For example, like quarterback center exchange, you know, which is the period that we start the day with, right? When we walk out here, special teams goes and quarterback centers, we go down here, and it's just rep after rep, right, with each guy. And you're calling pass plays, you're calling run plays, you're mixing up the cadence, you're just, you know, so. And I just make my way down the line. You know, it, it could be the fourth or fifth string guy. I want to take snaps with him, right? Because my, you know, my mindset is no matter who's in there, I got to be able to get the snap from them, right? I got to be able to find that rhythm with them, and we have to be able to execute. So, regardless of who it is at the end, um, we'll, you know, we'll have time on pass together. Drew, how strange is it when you're out there stretching and marking and not playing <laughs> and dancing and all that stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, man. It, you know, I'm 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 thankful that I had a chance to play with a guy like that. You know, for eight years, um, he was he was all heart and soul. He was the guy that we loved uh, being around. Um, 
I mean, he's a guy who I look forward to seeing too, you know, the most uh, coming into the facility every day, right? Um, so I think it's, you're, you're, always, you're always disappointed when, you know, all of a sudden you're, you're not together anymore. Um, but it's not the first time, <laughs> right, that uh, guys retire or guys move on or, you know, whatever it might be. And I think you just have to be appreciative for the time that you had together. Is it hard to replace a guy like that in the locker room? Oh, yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. And again, there's there's all I mean, there's all different personalities, and every every year is a new team, right? Um, and circumstances change for, for for guys, right? Some guys are entering into their prime. Some guys are getting a little bit older. Some guys are on their way out. Some guys are, you know, I mean, it's just so you just uh, that 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 evolves, you know. And but I can say this, I Latavius Murray's been great. You know, Jared Cook's been great. These are guys that have obviously had success other places and now have come here and have a great opportunity here. Um, and so all those guys will mesh well. How do you see Latavius complimenting um, Alvin? I mean, and how will he be different in any way than what Mark did? Uh, Thunder and lightning. <laughs> um, you know, that's that's always, I mean, look look at, look around the league, you know, every team, you know, you, you, you have, you have, that running back room that, that typically brings different skill sets and, and you're able to mix and match. And I think our offense has proven that you know, we do a lot of things with two backs in the game. And so it just gives us a lot of flexibility, gives a lot for the defense to have to worry about and game plan for. Um, and again, we're only three days into it, but uh, I'm impressed with what I've seen with him as well. How did you go about reviewing last year's performance? Um, and is there any interesting takeaways from that that you think will carry into this year? It's a different kind of year for you, but still record-setting and highly efficient, so so forth. Yeah, um, I'm always always trying to find ways to improve, and I think the exciting part about each off season is that you know num n number one, it's it, it, it really is starting over. You know, I mean, I, I approach I approach the playbook as if I'm seeing it for the first time, and so each each pass concept, even though it may be something that I've run for 15 years. Um, I'm going to go through it like I'm learning it day one. And, you know, where are my eyes? What's my footwork like? Does that footwork adjust? Do I need to speed it up versus this or that? And I just, I go through all the scenarios again just to reinforce um, so that I can be as efficient as possible when it comes to those things. Um, new players, right? Um, young guys. You know, you, you begin to see, okay, um, this year because we have these guys, maybe we're going to be doing a little bit more of this. And so that's just something that I'm really going to need to work on with them this year that maybe I haven't had to in the past. So that's the way I approach it. Um, I try to take a day a day one approach. Like, man, I've, I'm just seeing this concept for the first time. I'm going to study it like that. I'm, I'm working with these guys for the first time. I, I've got to, you know, got to get them on the same page and, and go back to square one with them too. Do you have any thoughts about how you feel going into the, the next decade? I mean, is that is it one more year made any difference to you, or do you still feel as good as you've ever had? Uh, I feel good. <laughs> so good. Nothing. I mean, nothing's 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 really changed for me. Um, I mean, I took. I may have taken a little a little more time at the end of this season, um, just to just to get away uh, from all that. But um, besides that, when it was time to get get back to work, um, I had surrounded myself with the mentors that had been with me. Uh, from the very beginning and took that same approach as to what I need to do to, to be at the top of my game, be as, as, as efficient as possible, be, uh, be the best leader that I can for this team, and here we go. A lot of the guys are saying after the loss last year to be so dominant that the rest can't decide the game. So how do you decide, have that killer instinct? I mean, obviously it's May, but how do you establish that killer instinct now? Uh, you take it one day at a time, and, and you just, you, you focus on building the foundation, and, and it, again, it goes back to that square one approach of, you know, not taking anything for granted, um, taking it one day at a time, focusing on just stacking those bricks. And, you know, each day that goes by, you just want to be able to look in the mirror and say, man, I did everything I could to get better today. And here are the things that I want to, I want to focus on tomorrow. And then you go out and, and you, you achieve those short-term goals. And you just keep, keep stacking them and then Eventually, you do the point where you know you've done everything you could to put yourself in the best position, position to succeed, and that, that, that allows you to go out and play fast and confident. Sure, you, some, you may have taken a little more time than usual, sort of what, I mean, mentally, 
kind of get over. Yeah, just be with my close. be with my family, be with my family, and um, yeah, just just get away, get away. I think that's always a positive thing. Um, recharge the battery, and and then establish the plan to to get ready to get back to work. Hey, Drew, has your approach changed over the years on how you get ready for times like now? You talk about your mindset. Do you have to pump yourself up anymore to like approach it the same way as you did back in old life? Or it, it just come natural? No, it, it, it's a it's a it's a different approach because I, I'm, I'm I'm so much wiser than I was then. Um, and also, it's not like it's it. It's not like you, you know, when when you're that age, you just think just work in general is is good. It's not necessarily efficient work, or that you're working smart. <laughs> it's just that, in other words, I, I I don't remember having that much of a plan back then, right? It was just hey, I'm a good athlete. I like football. I like to work out. I'll just go out there and run around and sling it around and, you know, everything will work out. I think now the approach is, is, is so regimented um, with everything I do on a daily basis in regards to my sleep habits and my diet and the way that I train and the way I recover and, you know, how I'm caring for my shoulder and different parts of my body that, you know, require me to pay the, play the quarterback position. And so it's just very specific now. Do you have to force yourself to approach the playbook any differently? It sounds like you, the way you approach this, you know it so well that it's, it's so mundane almost that you... Yeah, but to, there's always there's always evolution, right? Because I think we, we understand that at the end of the year, all the coaches pull out all the film, right, from every opponent, and they're sitting there analyzing it, watching it, right? So everybody's studying your stuff. Um, so you can't just come back and keep doing the same stuff over and over. Now, yeah, you have your bread and butter, and then you find ways to mix that up and 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 tweak that slightly. But I like I like looking at new concepts and and beginning to see. Okay, I think this is something that we could be really good at based upon our personnel or whatever it might be. And this might be a great addition to what we're doing already offensively. This might be a great Mike Thomas route or. Ted Ginn route, or you know Alvin Kamara route, or whatever it might be, and so that's 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 fun too, because you begin to pull all these concept that concepts out that maybe you haven't done before, and so it's a new challenge to to try to um, you know incorporate that or be, develop a comfort level enough to where that, that becomes a part of what you do. Drew, are, you saying, out, are you saying through like for instance where you were lining up out wide during the season last? Did you see these things being put in in, in the off season? So are those the things that kind of excite you, make it different, keep that boyish enthusiasm, if you will? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we we, we always, especially for veteran guys. I mean, I, I think it's uh, it is it is something that you have to throw in there um, to keep guys, yeah. I think, interested and intrigued, and um, you know. I, <laughs> they're going to split me out uh, as much, I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm going to need to have some routes, you know, that at least I can start working on. But no, I mean, that's that's part of the fun, yeah. I guess. Thanks. 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 Thanks.